today I will show you how to make brownie cheesecakes with strawberry mousse. First of all, what I have to do, I have to defrost my strawberries. The strawberries have defrosted now, so I'm going to put them into the pan now. And blend them next. So we continue first doing the recipe for the mousse as a first step. So I've got hand blender here. The blender. And as I'm doing this, I'm actually going to add one fourth glass of sugar. So you blend everything together. So the strawberries are blended very nicely right now. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take a couple of spoons of this strawberry mousse into the glass or even take a free spoon now add potato flour I'm adding two full teaspoons of potato flour into the mug just two now mix it all together into like a paste what potato flour does it actually thickens the mixture. Now I will add slightly more of this mousse. Just mix it together. And now I will pour it back in, into the pan, mix it again with the blender and then bring it to boil. So make sure you use all of it. And again, blend it. Now for the strawberry mousse to cook, so I'm going to start on my brownie. What I have here, I've got 120 grams of dark chocolate and 120 grams of butter. And I'm going to melt this in the microwave now. And I also prepared the baking tin, aligned them with the paper. My chocolate and butter have melted now. I'm going to add now uh, one half of the glass of the sugar and just mix it all together and leave it to cool down slightly. Now I'm adding two large eggs and I'm going to stir it again. So let's continue with the brownie mix. I'm adding two teaspoons of plain flour into a little bowl here. So two spoons of flour and also one small teaspoon of baking powder. You can also add some ground almonds if you want to, but I'm allergic to nuts, so I'm not using any almonds in this recipe. So mix it all together, the flour and the baking powder. And now we just have to mix this in into the mixture, chocolate mixture. You can see it's getting stiffer now. So just put it in and just mix it up properly. So keep mixing until your color of the chocolate brownie is like a one color. So all the flour is nicely dissolved in the mixture of chocolate. And you can see I'm making it a bit messy here. I've got flour everywhere. In the meantime, I have put my oven on to warm up for 170 degrees. So it's warming up at the same time. And as I'm mixing this, I'm melting my chocolate as well, which I need for my cheese mixture. So I need 100 grams of milk, uh, of, sorry, 100 grams of dark chocolate and 100 grams of white chocolate. But anyway, let's put this now here in my baking tin. So spoon it all in and make sure it's nice and level. And then we can crack on with the cheese mixture. 
all in I might have to use a spoon in a minute I'm using a fork to mix it so I will make sure that everything is mixed properly with the fork I think it's much easier than with the spoon so this cheesecake cheesecake brownie is a lot long recipe actually it's quite complicated but if you follow simple steps step by step hopefully we'll get it right I'm making this first time actually I'm making this for Easter I've got family coming around, so I thought I'd make something nice and special. So now, using a little spoon, well, normal spoon, tablespoon, and just pull it all across so it's nice and level. But this is our first layer of the cheesecake. Right, so let's do the cheese mixture now. So I've got here one kilo of a cheese. I'm using actually cheese that I bought from Polish shop. Uh, which basically is especially for the cheesecakes. So one kilo of that. I'm adding uh, almost a whole glass of sugar. And also I need to add the um, potato flour. And I need three spoons of potato flour. I had to actually cheat read the recipe actually because I don't even know it myself. So three spoons of potato flour. One, two, and three. And now I'm going to mix it. I'm going to use a hand mixer, but just remember what happened last time, hold the bowl, okay? And I'm using on the lowest settings possible. Just to mix it like that. You want to mix everything together. The cheese is kind of mixed now, so I'm adding four large eggs into this, four big eggs, and also a couple of spoons of vanilla uh, paste, vanilla bean paste. This one actually is amazing and brings a lot of flavor. So I'm going to add a couple of teaspoons. Lovely. And now let's carry on and mixing. And again, on the very low settings, and be careful you don't want anything to splash. Now what I will do now, I'm going to divide it into two. To one portion, I will add the white melted chocolate. And to the second portion, I will add dark melted chocolate. I divided the cheese mixture into two kind of the same equal amounts of cheese. So now I need to add the chocolate into it. So I will add the white chocolate into this one white melted chocolate goes in and I can use the same spoon in this one because the white chocolate obviously won't um, color the dark chocolate and the, to this one I'm adding the dark chocolate which is melted however it's cold it can't be warm okay because otherwise the eggs might curdle slightly so make sure it's slightly cold and I'm going to use the same attachment now to mix the mixtures together. Uh, so I will start by doing the white chocolate first and then I can use the same attachment to the dark chocolate after. If I put this to the side so you can see what I'm doing. And again on very low setting, hold the bowl and just mix it. Mix it until the chocolate is completely integrated with the cheese. It doesn't take long at all. Almost there now. Oh, I'm looking forward to this cheesecake. So much work went into it. I hopefully it will be, you know, nice and full of flavor. Right, so this one is done now. So now, just watch the cables. I've got so much cleaning up to do. And now the dark chocolate in here. So you can see that the color is changing now. Mix it until it's combined properly. Now is the time to assemble the cheesecake. So like I said here, first we've got the chocolate brownie mixture. Now we're adding the dark chocolate and cheese mixture. So put everything in. and then we'll make it a level, we'll level it up. Oh, I can't wait.
try to eat this. Lovely. I've got so much food now, I think I said this already. <laughs> right, so now level up. I'll show you in a minute. So this will go in the oven for 170 degrees for 55 minutes. And after, I will switch the oven off. However, I will leave the door closed for another 10 minutes for the temperature to drop down and to avoid the cheesecake of cracking. Right, so the first level is in. Could use your finger to remove everything else. Now, time for the white chocolate mixture. This is the white chocolate mixture. I'm trying to open this in. So now put the white mousse in. I'm just going doing little bits everywhere else, everywhere. So when I spoon it, I don't have to spread it too much because it kind of is spread out already. Try to put it evenly into different corners. Somebody asked me the other day, why are you making the cheesecake? It's not cheaper to buy one already made. Maybe it is, but I'm sure it doesn't taste the same, does it? When you make it yourself, you know what you put it inside and you know uh, people will appreciate it more when you make something yourself. And especially for things like Easter, birthdays, you know, special occasions, it's always better to have a homemade than ready bought. Right, so this is nicely leveled. And now it's time for a, a strawberry mousse, which I have here, which completely cooled down now. So what I will do, I will... I might actually put it in sections. So if I put it like this, and use another spoon just to deep it, do like a little hole and then put more mousse inside so when you cut it you will have the levels as well so I won't do it everywhere I just do a little little hole and put the mousse in I do it this way yeah so it's not everywhere wow it's very very jelly like see what I'm doing making little hole and then putting mousse in that's it obviously it's not an easy thing to do but you can always try so little hole like little pocket and then put mousse in so basically when you cut it, you will see that the mousse goes slightly deeper, not only on the top layer of the cheesecake. Oh, it looks delicious, eh? I'm always scared to do the cheesecakes actually because sometimes when you do them if you take them from the oven too quickly they might not cook inside so make sure you always check it if it's cooked inside and keep it for slightly longer if you need to right, I'll just do it another one here And I think I need one more here somewhere because it doesn't look very red. So I'll do one here in the corner. And last one somewhere here. There we go. My cheesecake is ready. I just do it like that so it levels up. So like I said, this is going into the oven now for 55 minutes for 170 degrees. If you like my video, make sure you like it, press the button and subscribe to my channel for more recipes like this. I will show you how to do things, you know, we learn together. Subscribe!